Hi, I'm Adele Julia and I'm doing a PhD in pollen vegetation relationships in Ghana. As part of my PhD, I went out to Ghana with my colleague Phil Jardine to do some field work last year. While we were there, we made this video diary. Our base for most of the trip was at the headquarters of the Forestry Research Institute of Ghana, or FOREG, near the city of Kumasi. The green and leafy compound contains research facilities and accommodation for the staff. An on-site guest house was our home while we were there. Our first weekend was spent making pollen traps. We needed 96, and this kept us occupied through the days and into the evenings. Our first field work locality was the Bobiri Butterfly Reserve, just a few miles from the Forig headquarters. Our driver took us over there through some of the reserve, giving us our first proper look at the Ghanaian forests. 20 traps had been set up at Bobiri last year, so we collected these in and replaced them with our newly built ones for another year of sampling. Next, we took the three-hour drive north to the Kojai Nature Reserve. As we neared Kojai, the landscape started to open up as forest changed to savannah. We were staying in a forig research station on the reserve, which was sparse but comfortable. Unfortunately, when we arrived early this afternoon, it started raining. Bye. It was really quite a heavy downpour and that settled in for a bit. So uh, we decided to jettison the fieldwork idea for today. It's turning to quite a nice evening. There are uh, bats making a bit of noise in the trees and we'll crack on with fieldwork first thing tomorrow. The next day, we went out bright and early and set up 30 pollen traps to sample the kojai vegetation, a mixture of forest and savanna. With two of our three localities completed, we took a day off and visited Lake Basumtwi, a lake formed from a million-year-old meteorite impact crater. So we're at Lake Basumtwi, as you can see in the background and it is absolutely spectacular. Driving over the hill into here was amazing. I mean, there's hills all around because, I mean, it was a meteorite impact crater. Um, and we're currently just wandering on the beach, having a look for rocks. So we've seen some nice kind of possibly metamorphosed sediment. Um, Phil said that the geology around here is mainly Precambrian. Um, and so we're just kind of having a look, looking at the plants, looking at the rocks enjoying the beautiful scenery and um, we're going to go pony tracking this afternoon which is quite exciting. At the moment we're sitting in a lovely, lovely place where we've just ridden horses and had an excellent lunch. It's called the Green Ranch and we are watching the rain approach us across Lake Basantui. So it's coming from that side of the lake and you can see that the lake is actually turning green as it approaches us, which I assume is just the reflection of the rippling water. But it is quite impressive and also making it quite obvious that we're going to get extraordinarily wet very soon. We dodged the rain and went back to the guest house. I took the opportunity to make notes on some of the plant specimens we had collected from Kojai. Our final locality for setting up traps was Ankasa National Park in the wet tropical forest in southwest Ghana. As we entered the park, we found our road blocked by a fallen tree. We climbed over it and completed the final few kilometres on foot. Mmm, delicious. Once we reached the plots, we got on with the now familiar routine of collecting in the old traps and putting out new ones. Welcome to the incredibly glamorous world of pollen trapping. So that's the last of our traps replaced. We had 24 here to do in the tropical forest at Ancasa, so that's now finished. Obviously we got caught in the rain again, uh, but we pushed on through and uh, hopefully that's the hard work on this trip completed. 
Our journey back took us along the coast road before we swung inland and headed north back to Forig to begin our packing for the journey home.